Hi everyone, Sherman at Life Accounting, the number one accounting firm for small businesses. In today's episode, I wanna provide you with some more clarity on CPA services. Now, CPAs can provide a number of services to small businesses, but no other professional can provide all the services that CPAs provide. So then, what are CPA services and what makes them so complicated? In this episode, you are going to find out. By the way, if you're new to our channel, then be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future content that we're putting out to help you manage money and save money in your business. All right, so what are CPA services? CPA services are accounting services that are provided by a certified public accountant, also known as a CPA. CPAs are individuals that pass the hardest professional exam in the world while meeting rigorous educational and experience requirements. Most CPAs have master degrees in business or accounting with at least a few years of experience under a CPA. Now, let's take a look at some specific CPA services. I'm going to break down CPA services into two categories, services that only CPAs can provide and services that CPAs are best to provide. Here are CPA services that only licensed CPAs can provide. CPA accounting services most commonly include compilations, reviews, and audits of financial information as well as certain tax services. Now, compilations are basically financial statements that are prepared by an outside accountant. So for example, if you're self-employed and are applying for a loan, the lender might require you to see financial statements that are prepared by a licensed CPA. And reviews are services where a CPA simply reviews your financial statements for accuracy. So let's say you prepared your own financial statements, for example, then you might hire a CPA to review review the financial statements you prepared for accuracy. The CPA would then be required by law to provide you with some type of limited assurance that your financial statements are accurate, and if it's not, they must disclose it in their review report. And then there's audits. Audits are services where CPAs are required to inspect your financial information in accordance to accounting and auditing standards set by the government. It is the highest level of assurance that a CPA can provide. The CPA must apply certain procedures to test for the accuracy, completeness, and existence of certain financial information to ensure that there is no fraud or material mistakes. Audits are commonly performed for nonprofit organizations publicly traded companies, as well as small businesses who may be applying for business funding or grants to run their business. And lastly, there are very specific tax services that CPAs can provide that other financial professionals cannot unless you're a tax attorney. For example, a lot of people do not know this, but CPAs can represent you in court in a tax matter with the IRS. That's just how powerful the CPA designation is. The only other person that can do that is an attorney. Okay, so those are the services that only CPAs can do for the most part. So basically the gist here is that if you wanna make sure that your financial information is correct, then hire a CPA. And if you want the best tax advisor for your business, then your best bet is probably to hire a CPA. But there are other services that CPAs can provide that are not limited to their profession, but their credentials make them incredibly qualified for. So then let's get into the services that CPAs are best at providing. All right, are you ready? Drum roll, please. CPAs are best at providing almost all accounting services. Seriously, CPAs were tested on all facets of accounting, including bookkeeping, tax preparation, tax planning, budgeting, pricing, and even more technical stuff that I'm sure you're probably not interested in. They know the rules of accounting and can act as a trusted advisor to help you plan for taxes, manage your finances, and overcome business challenges that you've never experienced before. But does this mean you need a CPA in order to do your bookkeeping? Well, no, not necessarily. CPAs can be quite expensive and you may not need to pay a CPA $150 an hour to do tedious work. 
For example, at Life Accounting, you may speak to one of our CPAs, but to offer you the best price, we hire bookkeepers to perform much of the bookkeeping work for our clients, giving you the best of both worlds at the lowest price possible. But you may be wondering, what's the difference between a bookkeeper, accountant, and CPA? So let's go ahead and get into that. Let's start with a bookkeeper. A bookkeeper is someone who keeps track of your business income and expenses throughout the year in order to generate financial reports. They basically record all financial transactions that occurred in the past, hence the name bookkeeping. Then there's your tax preparer. A tax preparer is someone who is qualified to file your tax returns. This person accepts no responsibility for the accuracy of your tax return as they are simply taking the financial information you provide them and fouling it with the IRS. So for your business, your tax preparer would take the books that your bookkeeper prepared and then foul your taxes. And if that financial information is wrong, it can be costly. This is why it is very important to make sure you hire the right person to do both your bookkeeping and your taxes. Now let's talk about your accountant. An accountant is a broad term, but they could do things like your bookkeeping, taxes, as well as more advanced accounting items. Accountants typically have a degree in accounting, which means they can do more big picture stuff for your business. For example, accountants might handle very complex transactions that your bookkeeper may not know how to do. And then finally, the certified public accountant, which is your CPA, the highest level in the accounting profession. CPAs are required by law to keep up with accounting changes tax laws, and other continuing education requirements to maintain their license. Therefore, they can provide you with the highest level of assurance and guidance for your business. With all that said, let's go ahead and talk about the big question. Do you need a CPA? Here are some questions you should ask yourself to determine this. Number one, have you read the tax code? Do you keep up with the changes in the tax code? And are you 100% certain that your business entity is the best entity to save on your taxes. And number two, do you have a budget? And is your budget working for you? Are you profitable? And then there's other things like, are your employees classified correctly or are they classified as contractors? Do you understand your financial statements? And do you have enough time to take care of all of your accounting responsibilities? And if you can, the big question is, is it worth your time? In my experience, it's always good to have a CPA in your corner whenever you need one. As you run your business, you will encounter challenges, and a CPA can not only help you with those challenges, but they can give you financial advice that you can rely on. All right, so that's what CPA services are. So let's go ahead and recap everything we discussed. Again, CPA services are just accounting services that are provided by a certified public accountant. Then we discussed very specific types of CPA services. There are some that only CPAs can and should do, like compilations, reviews, and audits. But there are other services that CPAs are really good at providing. Since they're already trained on all accounting principles required by law, they are more likely to provide you the highest level of quality for most accounting services. If this explanation of CPA services helps you in your journey at all, then go ahead and hit that like button for me below. And if you don't wanna miss future episodes we're pumping out to help you grow your business, then be sure to subscribe to our channel. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next episode.